that don't have dynamic return men, their coaches are going to have them do a lot of fair catching. Kyle Bambard kicks off. Marcus Marshall muffs it inside of the five-yard line, picks up at the two. Now he's got no choice and has to run and is tackled down at the eight-yard line. That's where you got a fair well, catch. That's a perfect example. If he would have fair caught that. Yeah. Carter Johnson is the back, and he gets swarmed under by James Smith-Williams for a two-yard loss. Bradley Chubb played last year. He's stepping up. You know, there's been a lot of talk in Raleigh 8 for James Madison. Danucci steps up and gets away from pressure, and he's going to have the first down. Sideline with some daylight and into NC State territory, a crucial third down. This was a broken play. This was all on Ben DiNucci. He steps up. The popper collapses. He's going to step up. He sees the green grass. More difficult third down here and 13 for the Dukes. DiNucci again scrambling is not going to have it. Only a four-yard pick up, fourth down and nine, and the punt team will come on for James Madison. Ball game to open it up. Ryan Finley, the quarterback. Reggie Gillespie is the tailback. He gets the call on first down. Gillespie. First and more across the 20 yard line. And I've seen him play big in big moments and drive the team down the field when they needed it. To me, Finley, right now. More on that later. Third down and long, though, for NC State here. Finley. Pass is caught. It's Myers again. And he has the first down to the 47 yard line. Passing for Finley last year for NC State, closing in on 7,000 total yards in his career as another negative yardage play on first down there for James for NC State yeah, winning the ball. Be a third and long, but if you are, you got a quarterback that can convert him. Rolling out now. Second and long pass is caught. It's a first down. It's Kelvin Hardman. Finley, over the middle, pass is caught, and out of the section, Ameka Amezi, first down again. Amezi can beat him with that quick slant, and he puts it on him in rhythm, in time, so the receiver doesn't break strong. He was moved over from defense in the preseason. He's back there now with Finley, and he gets the pass. And the Dukes are all over that. He fumbles the football, and it's recovered by James Madison. Mike Green has the fumble recovery and a huge turnover. And James Madison's got it. Number two, he was hurt last year. He steps up. Coach Bob Trott, defensive coordinator, said, we need a big game. I'm looking at it. Head across the bow, shoulder right on the ball. Marshall now on the carry. Marcus Marshall with his head down and has a first down to the 43-yard line. Danucci fires it out to the outside. Kendall Dean has the catch. First down and into NC State territory. Knocked down at the 44. Now Trey Sharp is in the backfield with Marcus Marshall. And it's a fake to him, though. And Danucci pulls it down and runs for a first, and that may draw a flag. As he gets hit out of bounds by Keyshawn Miller, he picks up seven, a first down, extracurricular activity, as that could be another 15. Defense, number 28, 15-yard penalty, automatic, first down. He can make plays happen with his feet. Makes the handoff, pass is caught. He's got Mark, Matt Cohen, who makes the catch, the tight end to the five-yard line. First and goal from the five, Danucci to the end zone, it's caught, touchdown. Riley Stapleton, and the Dukes strike first. Really, that he's a big target, six foot five. Finley, nobody's open, and Finley's gonna be taken down. Rondell Carter. For James Madison. Well, Carter is a defensive end that they're relying on. They believe he's going to have a great season. He had a really good camp. Top of your screen, he's going to go. And they put NC State in a third down and 14. Finley. Strong throw. Oh, what a better catch. Across the 
across the 40 in a first by Emeka Amezi. That was huge. 22 yards to keep this drive alive. Get that running game going, and uh, I think things will be good for you today. Finley with time, and wide open up in the middle is Myers again. And he's been strong so far in this first quarter. Adam Smith again on the tackle, but not before a 23-yard game. Fake to Gillespie, pass again, a slant, and Myers again. First and goal now from the 10-yard line. That one next 17 yards. Dare I say watch the slant because they've been yes. incredible with it. And Myers, number 11. Let's see. He goes the other way, though. Finley does to the end zone. It is caught. Did he get a foot in? No. It was Kelvin Harmon who made an amazing catch falling back but did not get his foot down in bounds. Yeah, good coverage by 27. And instead, it's going to be a 25-yard field goal that goes through by Christopher Dunn, the freshman, and his first career kick. He's on the radar. It's just a great program. And listen, make no mistake about it, a lot of schools tried to take uh, head coach Mike Houston away. They were able to re-sign him for a 10-year contract. Denucci. Avoids pressure, needs 13 yards though on the run, and that's not going to happen. He's tackled Tim Kidd Glass. We'll gain and get the ball back for our offense. Good job out of Wolfpack defense there. To see if Harry O'Kelly can pin NC State deep. Thayer Thomas on the return just across the 21-yard line. Look out. He's dangerous. Thomas, the sideline, and it was O'Kelly, the kicker, that had to knock him out. NC State is in business. Here now with NC State. So after the 42-yard kick and a 41-yard return, Wolfpack are in excellent field position, and Finley's pass is out to C.J. Riley, caught for the first down inside of the 28-yard line. Right away. Second down and nine. Finley, and that's out to Harmon, who has the catch. And it's another first down inside the red zone now. That's a game of 10. One of the four captains for the Wolf Pack and trying to put them on top here. Catch is made out by Thayer Thomas. Breaks some tackles, and it's in the end zone. Touchdown, Wolf Pack. Six of Messi, three Kelvin Harmon. Watch the blocking on the perimeter from the fellow wide receivers. 32. Danucci on the pass. David Eldridge on the catch. He's got it. First down, James Madison. What a nine for nine here for Danucci. 60 yards passing in this game, second down, and he stays perfect here on the catch, which is going to be good enough for another first, and it's Josh Sims. We were there last year, as you said, absolutely, and Danucci has advertised here. Can he stay perfect? Yes, he does, and plays like that, you will, and Riley Stapleton, and you know, he gets flung out of bounds, and that's going to draw another flag. You could just tell when we talked to the kids yesterday. Danucci with pressure in his face, and the catch is made again. Boy, his receivers are making it look Dukes with second down and seven. Rolling out. Danucci keeps. And to the 10 yard line. First down, first and goal on the way. That's the thing he knows. If he doesn't have anybody, he can run himself. Marshall goes in motion. Danucci looked his way, and now he's going to be sacked. Ibrahim Conte. Yeah, and that's what you do. You come down, guns a blazing there by Conte. It looks like Jahi Jackson, since he was supposed to kick him out, just didn't get enough on him to push him out. The Nucci wanted to bend. Third and goal, Danucci. He's got all day back there. Now tries to throw the ball. is loose. They ruled it a fumble. And it's fumbled again by NC State for the moment. As it was knocked down, Deontay Holden had it, and he lost it. Never goes forward. Replay will look at it, but this is going to stand. It's going to be an empty hand. It was Andreas Bryant that was able to get it there, 91, and then he fumbled it at the end, and he is still down right now for NC State. 
minutes. A replay is going to look at this. Uh, replay official Bob Welch, his communicator Mike Shepard. I talked to them before the game. And obviously got an injured player and a lot of stuff going on here. Replay will look at it. NC State's looking at the big defense alignment. It jumped on the ball. Bryant, first down and 10. Looking for the set of the screen, and it's smelled out by the Dukes as Myers made the catch, but Rondell Carter laid the stick for James Madison, a four-yard loss. Finley, man up, and it's Myers again. Puts it on him, and it keeps the drive alive here. We're under two minutes left in this first half. Finley again, and coming back to make the catch is C.J. Riley. And he's got a first down at the JMU 44-yard line. This is a crucial drive, really. Coming up second to Alabama last year. Big third down and two now. It's Gillespie, and he's got it to the 22-yard line, and that's where they mark it. Far official gave him a pretty good spot. On a third down and two. Finley goes up top, and it is holding C.J. Riley. Touchdown, NC State. Only 18 seconds remaining in the half. NC State's going to receive the second half kickoff as well. And again, I love the matchup. So you got C.J. Riley, 6 for 4. He's about 4 or 5 inches taller than Torres Carabello. is actually in good defensive position there. C.J. Riley just goes up and makes the catch. And I like the fact that Ryan Finley, throughout this first half, he's giving his receivers. Bambard kicks it away. Scrubber, and it's inside of the 30-yard line, picked up by James Madison, but they're not going to have much time to work with here. <laughs> a little inside handoff. But. Right. Yep, you called it Cardin Johnson. And that's going to take us to the end of this first half here from Raleigh, North Carolina. Quick pass out into the flat, and it's Myers, and he's hit initially at the 15-yard line. Wayne Davis. And then reacting to a play, Wayne Davis sees bubble screen. He goes. He's another one of those transfers we talked about. He came from Ohio State. He's actually getting blocked in the back as well. Forces the play, lets his teammates get there to make the tackle. I mean, this is how you defend bubble screen. Nice job, Wayne Davis. And you do, you see, you'll see some guys get banged up. Third down and 22. Finley goes up top. Elders, or they can hope and excuse me, has the catch, but he's out of bounds. Trey Sharp is in the backfield. Third down, Danucci. He's done this a lot today. He does it again. Danucci. Tripped up inside the 15 by Jarius Moorhead. Turns out it looks like a quarterback draw, but he's in the pocket. He's scanning the field, and he sees the green grass in front of him. And if you don't have enough 28 yards on that play. He's got 58 yards on the ground today himself as this handoff is smelled out by NC State. Empty backfield, third down for Danucci. With time, guns it, it's Stapleton, he's got it inside the five. He's going to be shy of a touchdown to make it a seven-point ball game. And the kick is good. Finley with time, pass is caught, and initially the catch was made past the first down marker. Now let's see what they spotted here. They don't show it here as Finley's under center. Gillespie is a deep back. They try to sneak it, and it's going to be close. It's going to depend on this spot here. Only needed less than half yeah. a yard. Finley as Gillespie picks up. A defensive player, good pass protection, and he's got Myers again to the JMU 41-yard line. Keep an eye out for Jacoby Myers on this third down. Finley and a little miscommunication there, and they're going to throw a flag, though, as Harmon was tied up with Wesley McCormick, who's the quarterback for James Madison, might end up bailing them out. Wow, and it was the back That's judge.
Defense, number 30. The ball will be placed at the spot of the foul. You First know, down. Myers in motion on third down and 11. JMU, do they bring some pressure here? Finley hit as he throws, and it forces an overthrow. Looking for a mezzi. John Daka brought the quarterback pressure that time for James Madison. 47, let's see if he can convert. This is to push NC State back up by 10, and it's no good, and it stays a seven-point ball game. James Madison holds him, and we'll get this football back. Passing today, and it's second down and 10. That pass is caught, it's Josh Sims, makes a nice spin move and gets a first down for JMU. That's just good awareness as a wide receiver. You know where you're going with it after the catch. Johnson in motion to the bottom, third down and seven. There it is, Danucci as they clear it out and he's able to run easily for the first down in the NC State territory, right what we were talking about. Third down and three, Cole Johnson. Pass knocked down at the line of scrimmage. And Aleem McNeil got his hand on it for NC State. Let's see if JMU tees off here now. Third down and nine. Finley, pressure coming. He throws. The pass is caught. Oh, it's Jacoby Myers. No. Yes, he's knocked out at the 13 yard line. It is complete for the first down. An 11 yard game. Seven for 11 on third down for NC State this game. One for four, though, this half. Finley, falling down, and he's going to get close to the marker. Let's see where they spot it. 23-yard line. He's going to have it, Mike, just enough. As the Dukes try to get back on offense, third down and nine for Ryan Finley and the Wolfpack. Here they come. Pass is caught, Riley, and he's ripped down right to the stick. Marshall on the run. Third down, though. Here we go. Big one. Four for nine of the Dukes on third today. Pressure up the middle. Danucci got crushed, but the pass is caught. And it's a first down on the far side by Riley Stapleton. That's the throw. He's going to get hit. Throw it to your best receiver, Riley Staple, on the big target. And let him go up and make the catch. 50-50 ball. Danucci. Low throw, but it's caught again, and it's Stapleton, the same situation. Two conver conversions on third down, both to Stapleton. That one goes for eight. He's had a solid game today as well for JMU. Second down. Again. Takes a hit, keeps going. Marshall inside the 10. Finally drags out of bounds. And it was Isaiah Moore that tracked him down. But that's a 26-yard game. Danucci steps up, trying to go for it. He's going to be brought down at the three-yard line. Couldn't quite get wow. there. All right, so Ethan Ratke, just another 19-yarder here on the way, and it is good. So JMU inching their way closer, and it's only a four-point game. Finley. Gives to Gillespie, looking for a hole. Good effort there, it's gonna bring up a third down and three. This one, third and three. Finley guns it, sideline, it's caught. He's got Kelvin Harmon. At least another one. Third and long. Under four minutes to go now, third and nine. Finley, airs it out, he's got a wide open Jacoby Myers, how does that happen? And Myers inside the 30 of JMU, and that is going to put the hurt on right there. And Darden 47 as well, so obviously a, a breakdown in the secondary of James Madison. The only buddy, only person out there was the safety. He had to come over D'Angelo Amos to make that play. I mean, it's lucky for JMU that didn't go to the house for six. I mean, if you're Finley, you look over there and you feel like it's third down now and nine. 223. Finley guns it. It is caught. It's Myers right at the first down marker, the 19 yard line. Looks like a good spot. He's got it. We're third and long. Great route once again. I tell you what, J Jacoby Myers has been a minute and 51. Clock is running. 
And the handoff goes to Gillespie, and he breaks free off the left side and gets down to the five-yard line. It's going to set up a first and goal from the five. What a huge run by him. Let this clock bleed. It's Gillespie. There he goes. Into the end zone. Touchdown, NC State. Again, Dave Dorn told us he wants his teams to be able to score under pressure. Great drive by the Wolfpack. Take it down the field, and they started to establish somewhat of a running game there at the end. With Danucci. Catch made by Marcus Marshall. And the first down across the 40-yard line. Just not going to be enough time here for the Dukes. And this is not going to affect their ranking. Danucci is shot down the sideline. Stapleton, what an amazing grab. He's got it. Second down and 10 here, just under 15 seconds left. Danucci facing trouble. Getting away. Finds Stapleton again. Another first down. Two seconds to go in this game with NC State and James Madison as the Wolfpack is going to hold on to get the victory today. Danucci's pass. Caught here, but out of bounds by David Eldridge, and that's how this game ends up. That's the ball game. And what we expected, we knew JMU would come in here and play hard. They were in the game, good tough game, and, and for Dave Dorn in North Carolina State, it's just survive this game, get this win at home, and let's move on to the season again. JMU, not your normal FCS team.